medical equipment tear down again. We got another oxygen concentrator. I have previously made the video of a oxygen concentrator. So this time I got another type of oxygen concentrator. This is a Perfecto Invacare that we can see here. And we got this flow meter here, output, and some alarms. This is for low oxygen, and this is the, then the oxygen is good. And here we got the light, we got the on-off switch, and how many hours it have been running. And here we can put a bottle with water to humidify the outcoming oxygen. A bit hard to see, but I have run like 26,500 hours. Used quite, quite a lot. So let's turn it on. You can see we got some flow here, and I can adjust that. You can hear the sound when it changes the sieve beds. And now, the best part, flame test. Do not try this at home or anywhere else. Hmm, almost. I see a very powerful. It's like welding the wood. That's very dangerous. A bit closer. And let's, let's extinguish it. more oxygen that sound yes enough played there's my fire extinguisher So yes, this is definitely getting out some oxygen from it. So yes, let's take it apart. Let's, let's take the cover off. And here you can see the internals. Put some sound insulation in here, make it a bit quieter. We've got the compressor here. Two sets of pistons, motor in the middle. Got some starting capacitor here with a discharge going down, going around here, and the coil up here, and it goes to the back. There's another side of it with the capacitor. We've got the fan, discharge is here, and from here the nitrogen and some oxygen coming out of here. Then it cleans out these sieve beds or depressurizes them and like back flushes them with oxygen. Here's the view from the top back. We can see the two sieve beds and this oxygen reservoir tank and this valve here that can actually connect the two sieve beds together. And these two goes to some filters here and to the Reservoir tank here for the oxygen. Got the cooling fan, and there's a small transformer for the logics. And right here, that's the oxygen sensor. And here on the bottom, here we've got the main valve pack that pressurizes and depressurizes the sieve beds. So as the discharge from the compressor comes here, there's a high pressure going into the valve. Here's the output with the nitrogen 
and these two goes to the sieve beds. Up here we got the main intake. It should be a HEPA filter here, but that's removed. We got this tube here for a humidifier, humidit humidifier. And here the intake goes to this, um, what looks like some kind of filter as well. And it goes to the suction of the compressor. And here's the oxygen reservoir tank. And here we've got uh, all different tubes that goes to most of the things like pressure sensor and the oxygen sensor, output, inputs, and there's some kind of sensor on the top as well. But I think actually that this is on the top here, it's actually a pressure relief valve. If the pressure gets too high in here, this will let out the pressure, so nothing bad will happen. Let's have a look how a uh, oxygen concentrator works. Here we've got the pneumatic schematic of it. We've got the air here. First goes to a HEPA filter, which is like this. We've got a compressor here, rises the pressure. We've got some uh, cooling fins. In this case, uh, that just loops the discharge tube. And after that it goes to this uh, valve pack here, we have two solenoids, it's in the resting position now, and the two sieve beds here are directly connected to the base gas output, but if you turn the solenoid 1 on, this will jump here, the pressure will go this way, and charge this uh, sieve bed, which begins to give out pure oxygen. And it goes through this uh, filter here first and into the oxygen reservoir. And uh, this can calculate it in some different ways. It can see the cons oxygen concentration or it can see and sense the pressure. If you have the too high flow here, it can uh, change this valve pack a bit faster. But if it's uh, uh, less oxygen consumption, it will change that much slower. So if you change this, it turns this on off, and after a little while it turns this one on. This sieve bed here will then discharge through this line, and uh, the pressure one will go and charge the sieve bed too. The oxygen comes in this oxygen reservoir, with the oxygen sensor here, pressure sensor, pressure relief valve, and the output going from, through this uh, control of the flow flow control here, and here's the output. And we got this solenoid here that can actually connect the two sieve beds together. So now we know how an oxygen concentrator works. So let's turn it on while the cover is removed. The compressor starts running. Here's the exhaust pipe for the waste air, which is mostly nitrogen and a little bit of oxygen. Different coming out, something from it, and it changes. Yes. So have a look on the back here to the valve pack. Clearly hear the clicking sound how it changes the sieve beds and depressurizes them and pressurizes them. I'm gonna raise the flow now. So you see how it uh, changes the valve faster. So I'll do it like this. Yes, definitely going a bit faster now. Here's the suction side. And the pipe on top here is vibrating pretty violently. Let's turn it off. 
stopped directly. Pretty high pressure. It's pretty warm. So yes, now we know a little bit more about oxygen concentrators. I will have some more of these. So maybe we can uh, find out what we can do with all of this oxygen. Maybe we can do the maybe a very fast uh, barbecue or something like that. So yes, pretty interesting unit. I got one more of these oxygen concentrators, or actually two of them, and soon I'll get a fourth one as well. So four oxygen concentrators, two like this one and two like the one that I had had in the previous video. So let's see what we can do with this. So hope you found this video interesting. Thanks for watching.